So, today I'm going to be doing a vlog video. I think I'm going to be doing more vlog videos from now on just because I love watching them from other people. And if you don't like watching them, I totally get it. Because I know not everybody likes watching vlog videos, but I think they're fun. And I was kind of inspired to do this by um, my YouTube little sister. I call her my YouTube little sister just because she's literally my YouTube little sister. Okay, not like literally, but... You know what I mean. Her name is Gina. Her YouTube username is Gina Shroom. I call her my YouTube little sister because we seriously have, like, the same taste in makeup and nail polish. Like, it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. We're similar enough to where it's not, like, boring. Like, I'm never bored with her videos. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But yeah, we're both addicted to makeup, and we're both addicted to nail polish and we both make YouTube videos so it's similar enough to me and she is my YouTube little sister so if you guys have not checked out her channel I totally recommend checking it out and I will link it in the bottom bar for you guys very sweet and you can tell she's real because I know a lot of youtubers aren't real nowadays but that's another point in itself and I'm not gonna expand on that okay I don't really have anything um, planned for this vlog I was just gonna start the camera and just start talking first thing that popped into my mind have you guys seen Vampire Diaries? Oh my gosh. Okay, so there was this huge, like, craze of Vampire Diaries, and I never got into it, like, when it first came out. And I never even got into it until two weeks ago, okay? Listen to this story. So everybody's all crazy over Vampire Diaries, right? And all the people in my dorm are also crazy over Vampire Diaries. Everybody's, like, watching the episodes as they come out and stuff. And I think, come on, it's like Twilight Part 2, right? And no offense to anybody who likes Twilight, but I hated the movies. These people don't know how to act. So anyways, I'm thinking Twilight Part 2, right? No. I loved the Twilight books when they first came out, and I'm talking about when they first came out, when nobody knew what Twilight was, nobody, like, was in this vampire craze, everybody was into the Harry Potter. I was into Twilight books. I got into Twilight when the second book came out, and that was a long time ago trust me unless you were actually like there nobody knew what it was and then when everybody started knowing I phased out because I was in the phase and then I phased out because that's just what you do you go through phases so anyways I phased out of vampires and all my friends are thinking Ishani you need to get into vampire diaries and I said no I'm fine with my glee I'm fine with my pretty little liars I'm fine with my friends and Gilmore girls I have enough shows on my on my back yes friends and Gilmore girls are not running anymore so never mind oh I have desperate housewives too but still my friends are like Ishani you need to start watching vampire diaries and I say you know what vampire shows are so out obviously not so two weekends ago, my friend let me borrow her complete season one, and I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. I was like, I will try it, but I guarantee you I will not like it. Wrong! I watched the first episode, and it was like Twilight Part 2, and I was like, ha, huh, I told you, Twilight Part 2. I was about to stop after the first episode, because to be completely honest with you, it wasn't that great. Then my friend said, just keep going, Ishani, it will get better, I promise. So I kept going. And they were right. Totally got better. I am now in love with it. And in case you didn't believe me, how in love with it am I? I watched 31 episodes of Vampire Diaries. 31 episodes in two days. That takes great commitment, people. I don't think people understand how much commitment that actually takes. So in 48 hours, I watched 31 episodes. That's commitment. It's good. I recommend it. If you don't like Twilight, I still recommend it. If you hate vampires, I still recommend it. I recommend trying it out. I think it's a good show. I was never into the craze and now I am. I'm addicted. We'll just say it out loud. I'm addicted. Yes, I did catch up. They're kind of like on a hiatus for like a month or two now. Um, I don't think they're going to start playing more episodes till April. So I've completely caught up. I love it. It's a great show. Other shows that are great. Glee. Glee, it was good. I don't know. I'm still... A Gleek? Is that what you call it? A Gleek? Yes, I'm still a Gleek. Um, I still love Glee, but it's kind of gone down for me. Is that just me? If you guys have been watching Glee from the beginning, and I mean the very beginning, I started watching it from the very first episode, and now when I watch it, I feel like it's gone down. I mean, the storylines are not there. The first season was all about them, you know, ready for this competition and they're getting ready for regionals and sectionals and it's all exciting and it's all glee-ish. But now it's like drama. And I'm all about drama because, I mean, 
I like dramatic shows, that's fine. But that wasn't what Glee was. So now I feel all awkward because that's not what Glee was to begin with. I don't know. Because like the last episode, regionals just like creeped up on us. Was that regionals? Yeah, I think that was regionals. It just creeped up. I, I didn't even get a warning. I didn't even know they were going to do regionals. All of a sudden I'm watching the episode and they're like, oh, we're going to regionals. And I'm like, what? Yeah, they went to regionals. Okay, well, that was a shock. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Anyways, next show. Actually, I don't really have any other shows to talk about. Next topic. Have you guys had Girl Scout cookies? Oh, I love Girl Scout cookies. Hold up, let me get my boxes. Okay, I just ran and got my boxes of Girl Scout cookies. So this is kind of nasty. Um, This one is the peanut butter patties. They're called Tagalongs, people. They renamed a lot of these cookies. Doesn't cut it. Please don't rename Originals. It doesn't cut it. I know that they like switched factories or something, but the cookies taste exactly the same and don't rename them. Anyways, peanut butter patties sounds like a knockoff off brand of the original Tagalongs. I'm holding the box like this because I just pulled this out of the trash. Why I did that, I don't quite know. Why I'm telling you that, I don't quite know. Anyways, I completely finished this box, which is why it was in the trash. I didn't just throw it away. It's gone. They're all eaten. It's done. Thin Mints. Why they kept this name, I don't know. But look, they're not round. What happened to the round Thin Mints? I don't know. Don't be changing the shape of my cookies. You know, back when I was a little girl, they used to be round. This is the worst of them all. Caramel Delights? What? These are Samoas. Samoas. Caramel delights. Really? I don't even know what to say to that. Like, at least you could spell delights correctly. Like, really? This, I get that they were trying to make it cutesy, but oops, it looks like a knockoff of Samoas. My friend was actually really, really mad that they renamed this, that she actually took a piece of paper, wrote Samoas on it, and stuck it on this and relabeled the box to say Samoas. Now, I don't have that kind of dedication, but I'm still upset at the new name change. I'm gonna toss this away. Okay, spring break started today. Yay! I had my last final yesterday. Boo. I'm just excited I get to see my friends again because all my friends are coming back into town and so exciting. So I got these cute new shoes at Target. Do you want to see the shoes? I'll show you the shoes. Let me grab them. So I got two pairs of shoes at Target. These are both pairs of shoes I've been eyeing for so long. So the first pair is a pair that Makeup by Tiffany D showed in one of her Target haul videos and I saw them and I loved them. So I had to get them and they are these. I'm sure if you guys watch Makeup by Tiffany D you've seen that she showed these. They are so cute and they're supposed to be kind of like Cynthia Vincent inspired, um, not really inspired inspired, but they look really similar to the Cynthia Vincents, um, and these are called Tawny, and these are in brown, obviously. So they have this really cute zipper down the middle. I love it. I think these are going to be so cute with like a summer dress or shorts in the summer or even capris just everything i think these will match with everything very excited to wear these and these were $24.99 by the way then i also got these these are the dolce vita for target and dolce vita oh i love such a nice brand name and look at how cute these are if i put my hand in it maybe you can see like the cross hatching I don't know what that's called but it's so pretty and these I got in black because I got these in brown so now I have a black pair and a brown pair and these have the really cute buckles on the side I love these so much since both of these were wedges they're gonna be super comfy and they are I've tried them on they are super comfy I feel like I'm gonna go back and get these in brown and go back and get these in black too because I love them so much and these were $29.99 by the way but that is not bad considering these are designer shoes like I mean they're designer for Target but they're still by a designer. I love these a lot. One other thing. No. Two other things. One. Makeup collection and storage video and nail polish collection and storage video will be coming up soon. I've gotten just about a zillion requests for those. And those should be coming up soon. I'm hopefully going to film them this week because I have spring break. So hopefully those will be coming up soon. Second thing, in some of my videos, my neck looks lighter than my face. Do you see that? Like, that is so awkward. I promise you in real life, that's not how it is. 
My decollete area right here totally matches my face. I don't know why the camera is making it look so different. I think it's the lighting and I'm gonna have to try to fix that, but those of you guys who are wondering, this all matches. Trust me. So I guess that's really it. I don't have much else to talk about. I'm tired. Why am I tired? I just woke up like three hours ago. It's this college schedule. I'm telling you guys, it messes with your mind. Anyways, I better go. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. That wave was really weird. How do I normally wave in my videos? Do I do this? or Do, do I wave? I don't even know whether I wave or not. This is weird. I know Amariques or Allison. In her vlog videos, she invented like a new wave. It's like this cute little... I don't know what she does. She does something cute like this. I'm not going to steal her wave, but I want to make my own wave. What if I just did something like this, like jazz hands? Would that be too similar to Allison's? Because she does this. Maybe I'll do something like mystical. Like mystical. Okay, for now, all I have is mystical. So I'm going to do this when I say bye in my vlogs, okay? This is my new wave. So if you ever see anybody doing this, they got it from me. This. Okay. Bye.